Well, 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 good morning and uh, what a great day we have today is Wednesday, the Morning Digest and today we are focusing on our youth and uh, as always and we are going to be having a great conversation today with a great guest. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing day for us to gather in, uh, in such a morning. I want you to do me the favor, let's do the, the, the normal, please share this link with everyone that you, 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 you know, you know uh, on Facebook, on YouTube. Uh, Elevate TV Kenya and we shall be having a great one hour of conversation with our guest today. They say if you <clears throat> if you quit if you quit, in, if you quit you have quit in the process and today we are going to be talking about appreciating process. Growth is always a matter of process and we are going to be looking at that and my guest today is a jovial guy this guy Charles <laughs> Thank Karibu, you. This is Elevate TV. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a, 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 we're gonna have a good time today. Uh, Definitely. Chetty is uh, you, you, you 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 just look at that camera. Tell us who you are. Then we shall we shall move into our discussion today. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks Elevate TV for inviting me. My name is Charles Chetty. Uh, I'm an interior designer. I'm born again, born again Christian. I'm a husband to the most beautiful wife in this world, okay. most beautiful woman <laughs> in this world. Uh, yeah, I love God, I love life, yeah. I love doing what I do. Yeah. Um, um, I love work because my work is my passion. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, people ask me, what do you do in your free time? Yes, yeah, tell them, you know, I'm, 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 having, I'm having fun, having fun. Yeah. while working, yeah. So to have a lot of fun, don't yeah. allow yourself to be gloomy when you're doing your work. Yeah. Now, Charles, yes. Uh, just give us a brief about yourself. So my 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 story is very simple. <coughs> um, I'm I'm a, I'm a boy from a small village mm. called Ngini Village in Ma in Makueni. <laughs> very simple, humble so, beginnings. Uh, they say the sun does not forget <laughs> even the smallest village. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, a small village from Guinea uh, to the world. Uh, yeah. So from a small village, that's where I started. Uh, um, I think the most interesting thing is that when we were growing up, uh, we used to herd goats. Mm. And, you know, when playing with other boys, we had several, you know, uh, games that we would be playing. And among those games, the last thing we would do when we play everything, of course, football, I would thrash them. In a few races here and there, I would also thrash them. Mm. But they would beat me in other things. But there's one thing that stood out. You always uh, won, eh? No, no, no. <laughs> no, in a few, I lost in, in some games, eh? Uh, but there's, there's something that um, stood out, mm. uh, what I was doing is, on, at, at the end of the day, we would sit down and to draw ah, on soil, okay. right? Mm. And that was my area. Ah. That was my area. Mm. Um, I discovered this because I, I re started receiving appreciation mm. from, because we were drawing on, um, on a road, mm. like these... Uh, you call them paths yes, where people yes, footpaths yeah footpaths where people walk while going to the market mm. so we draw then you know like the the, the adults would be walking mm. and then they would stop mm. uh, and and just look at my work and they, mm. they would be wowed and then they call me they ask me what's your name mm. um, and give me a sweet or something like that so that's when you know like god started speaking to me so in you terms say, of so yeah you started earning early yeah, I said like, well, this business man say he has a guitar. He has a guitar. So yeah, like you, you know, like being appreciated and even being yeah. given something yeah. used for your talent mm. uh, that early, then you know, deposits deposits some mm. form of um, confidence and yeah. some form of direction yeah. in what you're going to do mm. in the future. But I didn't know. I mean, what was happening? Wow. Yeah. You know, we had a conversation another day. Yes. Um, on on your gifts. Yes. Just trying to identify your gifts and. Yeah. Uh, one of the guests w said something like you're saying. Yeah. Says some some of the things you used to do when you were a child. You need to go back and think about them. Yeah. So they have a bearing. Yeah. To where you should focus on. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So so that's 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 the like the genesis. Mm. And uh, I mean, I go to primary school. The first day, mm -hmm. I mean, I get my first client. Oh. Yeah. A boy walks from class one. Mm. Asked me to, for, to draw for him a what? Mm -hmm. a, a car. Yeah. I'm like, this thing I do very easily. So yeah. the first time I held a pencil, yeah. I wasn't ri writing one, two, three, four, five. Oh. The guy came before classes, like mm. quite early. Mm. 
So me, I, I, do, I do for him. You do for him. I, I do for him a car. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so while I'm in, I'm in nursery school, mm -hmm. I'm servicing clients from 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 class three downwards. Upper class. <laughs> from class three downwards. Wow. But when I went to class four, mm -hmm. same thing happened. Mm -hmm. I have the whole school in my hands now. Wow. Mbaka teachers now are calling me to draw for them map of Africa, map of on blackboards. Mm -hmm. So this is something that kept repeating itself. Mm -hmm. When I went to to Machako school, sorry, no, so I finished I finished primary school. Mm -hmm. uh, luckily, I'm top of the school. Um, I'm top in the division, I think. Mm -hmm. So I'm called to Machako school. Machakos boys? Machakos boys, ah. yeah. Was Machakos, but now it's called Machakos ah. school. It was a provincial school then, now it's a national, it's a national school. school. So I'm called to this school, and Manzimi are from the Shags, eh? Mm. So there are these guys from Nairobi mm. who have girlfriends. Mm. You know, na? Mm. Uh, us guys don't have girlfriends. Hey, so <laughs> <laughs> so they, asked hey, for, they, asked, they asked me to do for them yeah. calligraphy. Yeah. So because they need to write letters too. Yes. To this girl's school. So again, another journey starts. Mm. I'm servicing the entire school now. Ah. And then they're paying me. In, so now I have in, really. In bread. Yeah, in bread, yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> so the money is. Uh. Because I didn't have a lot of pocket money. Uh. So the money is being paid now is now my. my yeah. The bread. Yeah, I am buying bread. Ah. Probably. So bread is the currency uh. in high school. Yes, you, yes, if you know yes, what yes, I mean. You know, if you know, you know. This yeah, so, so that's up to high school. Mm. I finish high school. I go to campus, mm. University of Nairobi. Mm. No, in between high school and, and university, something interesting happened. Uh -huh. So my dad, he's doing his house, our shag's home now. Mm. So he makes me the, the, say, say the supervisor or the form, something Foreman. like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So from there, I now fall in love with mm. buildings. I'll tell you now how this is important to uh -huh. what I do today. Yes. So from that short experience, the break between, we used to have two year breaks. Eh? Mm. Before going to campus, yes, yes, yes. so I'm Simamia in his Mujengo. Mm. It's done and dusted. Mm. I need to go to Kampo. So this becomes very important much later in, in my life. Mm. So I go to campus again. I realize, oh, yeah, here guys don't draw with, mm. with Mukono yes. like I used to do. Yes, yes. People are using computers, yeah. it's not graphics. Mm. Eh? Yeah, so Manze, I find it hard because now my classmates seem to be mm. kind of ahead of me. So I had to take a course mm. here in town. Mm. Shangtao Hearts College, yeah. and then so I, I again now the, the same 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 thing repeats itself. Um, I start doing posters for Sonu politicians, uh, <laughs> Jack, uh, Zaki Nudia, uh -huh. the CAS for Education, uh -huh. my, one of my clients. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, you should remember. You should remember. You should, <laughs> 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 should remember me. Yes, uh -huh. those are some of my. Clients, another uh, MCA in, in uh, Meru called DMK Kiogora mm. was, was my client, and many other. So, this you're doing in, call, in campus? I'm doing this in campus now. There are flyers and, it, and all that. And now, again, it's also servicing my, my life because, again, pocket money is a problem. I need mm. more money to do one, two, three, four, five. Mm. So, it's sorting me out. Um, yeah, so then I finish campus, I start my first job. Mm. Uh, so I'm employed by a company called Design 40 Limited. Mm. Uh, it's an interior design company. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now, how I came to do interior design mm. is also very interesting. Mm. So I like, I like doing things that I'm, I'm good, good in, yeah. like I'm best in, you know? So, you know, in third year is when you're supposed to choose mm. whether you do graphics yeah. or you do interiors. Mm. So what happened, this, this, this now we, we, we are in that process where you need to make the selection. Mm. So something interesting happens. We get this uh, new lecturer, um, new guy, very tough person, yeah. and gives us the first assignment. We were an interiors assignment. We are doing elevations, drawings. Funny enough, I was the only person who cracked that assignment mm. in the first time, mm. right? Mm. So, so I, I started to ask myself, so why should I do graphics? Yet there's something here mm -hmm. that I seem to be one of the first people yeah, to understand it. Yeah, yeah. So that's how I ended up in, wow. in, in interior. Yeah, quite a story, yeah? Yeah. Mm. You know, um, people like, uh, you know, people like, I call them creatives. Yeah. <laughs> I call them creatives because that seems you've mm. been going through a journey, you know, just enhancing their, their, yeah. their gift. And, yep. and, and I like that part of where you... You, you, you had to learn to, you know, to be, you know, to be at par with other guys. Eh? Yes. Now, 
when you finished campus and you got this job, eh, how yes. long did you work and uh, what, uh, what, what, what did you learn there? No, it's interesting also how I got the job. Ah. So what happens is, I'm in college, I, I see an advert. Mm. These kids are looking for an interior designer. Mm. Remember, I've not even graduated, but I apply. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I am confident in my skills. Uh, These guys need me, uh, you know? So I apply. Yeah. Yeah, so this guy, were, they, were, they were amazed, Design for the Limited. They even wrote back. They're like, oh, you know, we're looking for someone who has graduated, mm. but please invite us mm. to your final year pinup. We normally pin up our yes, work. Yes, yes, yes. Please invite us to your final year pinup. We would like to, to see what, what, okay. what you have done. Mm. So in, later is when these guys told me, you know, we were just blown up by a confidence of mm. someone in applying for it. They, they wanted someone with two years experience. Yes, 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 yes. But me with zero experience, <laughs> I slide in my it's application. application yeah. So then I, they, they come, look at my work. They're like, um, you can, when, when do you want to start? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I said, uh, give me a week because I didn't have a place to stay. Yeah. So I need to think, figure out where, where after campus where I'll go live. <laughs> so, I mean, sorting out accommodation for like mm. a week. I was hosted by a friend of mine. Then, yeah, one week later, yeah, I, was, I, was, I was at uh, Road B in Enterprise Road, Road B. Some go down over there. That's where Design 40 was located mm. at the time. Mm. So, now, um, man, I realize Kumbe, the world out here, mm. things move fast. Yes. Kumbe, even out, out here, there's also now like you're fresh, like, like even now the the these guys who used to tell you you're good in campus mm. didn't know how yeah. out here things out look here. like. Yeah, there's something there's something we call out here. <laughs> out here, man, <laughs> things are when totally we different. Get out here. You're things, a newbie. Yeah. Even like the way things are done, like you have to now start learning from scratch. So I mean, I I was humbled day one. Wow. Just by the assignment that I was given on my table and the mm. timeline that. Mm. I mean, I needed to do this thing by end of day, mm. and it's something in campus we would take a week. <sighs> you know, <laughs> so, so man, the pressure, mm. pressure being pressure. So, I mean, so, so as to now um, get myself into, into tune mm. with this, mm. I had to spend a lot of hours learning. Yes. I had to spend a lot of hours learning, like, how to use software. Mm. We use Archicad, some rendering software for interiors. Mm dimensioning and to learn spend a lot of time um learning the materials that we yeah. use mm. like I, I really just now decided to buckle down go and back work. to school yeah buckle mm. down and go back to school in the school of life yes, yes, you know yes. yeah so i learned a lot um i think something so then now first year i'm, I'm just doing drawings and everything i've not even gone to site yani. Mm. but luckily or I, I learn, I, I, I get it fast, Nashika. Uh -huh. So we say our first lesson, mm. your first lesson yes. when you walked out of college. Yes. Yes, you've enjoyed, you know, you've enjoyed be. Uh, I would call it uh, what we call, you're the only guy. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm, I'm one of the... <laughs> <laughs> Monopoly. Yes. <laughs> enjoy Monopoly. Yes. Now you're out here, you discovered I'm not alone. And <laughs> life is not the way it is. No, I so discover I'm actually nowhere. <laughs> the first lesson is life is not the way it is down there in yeah. college. Yeah. And I think you need to, to speak this out because mm. many people when they leave college, mm. I think there is, a, can I call it a culture shock? Yeah. It's like a culture shock. You just left college, you think yeah. you're the best guy on earth. Yeah. There are guys who've been here out here. Yeah. Just waiting for you. Yeah. And then you discover you know nothing. You know nothing. You know nothing. The, the, the world owes you, you know, nothing. Yeah. Actually, what you are, you are actually in kindergarten. Yeah. There's a new school you need to attend. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that humility to be able to attend. Because yeah. I find this way, mm. do you think then is that people lose, because of that, mm. they lose the opportunity to learn. Maybe they, they refuse to learn or they miss the opportunity to learn mm. to move into the school of life and, you know, doing things mm. or you think is just uh, guys don't want to go that way. No, it's just cockiness. Eh? Mm. I, I had a conversation with... Uh, <laughs> I, had, I like your straightness. <laughs> I had a conversation with a senior designer at yeah. the time. So he said, you know, you guys come from college and you're very cocky. Yeah. That's, that's, how, that's where yeah. I got the word. Yeah. So, like, you're hard-headed, yeah. you don't want to learn. So yes. I was like, oh, yeah. I was taken aback yes. by, by that statement. I'm like, mm. oh, man, do you mean that's... that's and, and it's absolutely true. And these are veteran telling yeah, you that. Some, yeah, someone who has been in the game, had been in the game for, like, 20 years. Woo! Telling me, you guys, you guys just leave campus and you think you will come and, you know, get it right the first time. Mm. It, it doesn't work like that. And I took it. 
Wow, you took it. So yeah. that means you had someone who literally showed you like, okay, boss, this yeah. thing, uh, you need to do something. It's the whole and, and I think <laughs> I really appreciate that you you, yeah. you are humble enough to take yeah. it. Eh? Yeah. And uh, would you would you say that that person or that pa whoever it is saved yeah. your life? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, I, I call these people um, uh, people that God places in your life mm. to guide your your path eh? mm. in in, li in in life or even to open doors. Mm. So this was my former boss, mm. Mr. Jackson Dego. Mm. So. Yeah, to open doors for you mm. to into your career mm. and to tell you the right things. I hope you've gone to him. Definitely, and always. With, with either a cow or a goat. <laughs> the, the two are yet to happen, <laughs> but I've definitely gone back to him with other Mr. things. Mr. Degwa, I'm, I'm looking out for you. No? <laughs> yeah, the cow and the goat will have I'm looking out for you. You must go back to yeah. that no, man. We, because we, really, he, he ushered back. you into life. You know? yeah. yeah. And I think we need to become these people who appreciate people, who yeah. usher us into yeah. really... Yeah. What I call yeah. life. Eh? Yeah. Now, coming from that place, eh, yes. you had learned the first thing: life is not the same yeah. uh, as in college. And yeah. it's true; it's not the same because in college, basically, you are you are monopoly. Yeah. And here now, you are coming to a play, a, you know, a mm. field with great things. But I also appreciate that you would be able; you had the guts to apply for a job when you're in college. Eh? Yeah. Many people wait. Yeah, you know, you know, we wait to graduate. We wait to have the papers. Mm. But me. You know, the cockiness again mm. led me because I said, Me, I'm ready, man. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm Nico Sawa. But the Kujichocha can it gets you to the door. Uh -huh. But what keeps you on the desk wow. is humility. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I like yeah. that. <laughs> I told you you're a wise man. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. So you, 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 you got to have some confidence. What keeps you at the desk is yeah. humility. Yeah, what keeps you in that desk, that wow. job, is, is humility. But cockiness, mm. it will definitely get to the door. Yeah, you need yeah. kuniniku kwa muka asubui. So, yeah. muka bana, muka mungu, muka anyone. Yes. Don't wait for jobs in the house. Yeah. Uh, we have a few minutes, we're going for a break. Eh? Yeah. Uh, because I want to, we are going to now get into the place where now you decided mm. you need to get into a business yeah. and all that. Mm. Any other thing you learned before we go for a break? Uh, something you learned? No, I think place? I think I think I would say I would again appreciate my former boss because he took me to meetings, mm. to client meetings. Ah. So I mean, yeah, he's a good man. He's yeah, a good man. yeah. We did some work in International Lifehouse mm. here mm. for the late Dr. Kirubi, mm. and my former boss took me to these meetings with him. Ah. So I, I got to learn how to talk to clients, yeah, how to, ne to negotiate. How to. Th these things you don't you don't get to learn them. In college. Oh, yeah, you don't. There are yes. things you don't learn. You said a school of life. I like yeah. the way you called it. A school yeah, of it's, life. A, it's a school of life. <laughs> how to negotiate, how to prize for your work, mm. how to, uh, you know, like this, how to speak in the boardroom. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I would, I would wow. credit being taken along. It's uh, different, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's different. Well, it's amazing. Yeah, it's you need different. to learn how to speak in the boardroom. Yeah. <laughs> Don't speak the way you speak out here. Yeah. The boardroom is a bit uh, tense. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a different uh, ball game, you would say. Yeah, that's where you butter mm. bread. Eh? Yeah, yeah, that's how now you, 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 you make your money. So now being shown, and also like listening to his, uh, we would drive mm. from from the office to meet a client. Mm. So, I mean, there you're listening to how he's making his phone calls. Mm how he's directing people. So definitely it's mentorship in a way. Wow, mentorship. Yeah. I, I think that word has come up very many times yeah. that I think we need to embrace this element of mentorship. Yeah. Because you see, mm. I mean, can you imagine yeah. you are, we're about to tell you about this man. He's going to tell about his business. Yeah. We are where you are because someone just decided I'll call this guy. He's not yeah. my brother. He's not my kid. He's not, yeah. he's, he's, I'll just take him with me. Yeah. And uh, I'm so grateful mm. for such a man. That's why I'm telling you, mm. look for the cow. Definitely. <laughs> look for the cow. Yeah, Mr. Ndego, the cow is coming. <laughs> <laughs> look for the cow. And I'll, pass, I'll, I'll supervise. <laughs> You'll supervise. No problem. You'll hold oh, me accountable. Yes, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will so hold so you accountable. Well, now, yeah. we're going for a break. And yeah. now when we come back, I mm. want you to, we, we're going to talk about the, now the journey, yeah. the beginning the of the journey, business. because yeah. it's important that uh, we really uh, inspire, yeah. you know, inspire someone today. Yeah. Today our assignment, we must inspire someone to start something. Yeah. Well, we go for a break. That's Charles for you. And he'll be back with great, great stories. I mean, I love this guy. But remember, you can send a text on 0719-666655. Uh, or, and it's either a text or WhatsApp, please don't call. 
uh, we won't pick your call. So please text, ask any question. You can go on Facebook, ask him any question. He's ready to answer. But remember, we are just talking about process, you know, appreciating process. Because sometimes people forget that it is the process that matters. It's not how you get there. An African man said, it's not how you climb the palm tree. It, it, it's not going to the top of the palm tree. It's mm. how you climbed. Ah, nice. Yeah. nice. You need, we need to know how you climbed. The process. Well, let's go for a break. Please keep it Elevate TV. There is no town, there is no city, there is no nation without fathers. They went before us and set the stage of what we see in the gospel today. It's immediately when I got saved, wow. the Lord placed in my heart passion for souls. They fought the battles and prepared the way. They were told these miracle workers here from Kenya. Mm -hmm. He has troubled so many churches in Kenya. Troubled. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Others said it's a false prophet, but the sick did not listen to that. They needed it. What did they do that we are not doing? We believed the word of God that it is true. I believe the word of God that by his stripes I was healed. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. The gospel then and the gospel now. God says do not be dismayed. We didn't have the technical gospel that people have today. If you believe, bow your head, raise your hand, come forward. No, mm. no, no. Mm -hmm. People just stood up and began to repent by themselves. Wow. Others crying on the floor, mm -hmm. saying, save me, save me, save me. Oh, Jesus. Dressing the mantles. Charles said, Kujichocha Komlango. <laughs> Humility on yeah. the table. It keeps you on the desk. Keeps you on the desk. Yeah. Charles, <laughs> welcome back. Um, Thank you. You are now working with this man. He's taking you to meetings and you're able to now, you know, understand how meetings go, how yeah. people talk. Mm. Uh, tell me about uh, how did you come to leave that place? Because that's important. Mm. You know, um, my, my, my apostle, Mm. says it is very important how you leave places yeah because you may need to come back for your heart definitely <laughs> you, you don't you don't uh, what is it called you yeah. don't burn bridges you don't burn bridges yeah please don't yeah so i, I didn't i didn't burn my bridges mm. what happened is uh, i got a letter mm. from the university of nairobi mm. uh, actually i had uh, had um, I'd gotten a first class in my undergraduate, oh. so I was like a top oh. student. So I should have put on a <laughs> <laughs> so, so the university wrote uh, to me saying mm. that uh, there's a scholarship mm. uh, for me to do a master's degree. Ah. Yeah. Mm. And also, um, yeah, so I, I wanted to go and do a master's degree, but mm. at the back of my mind, I knew I wanted to start a business. Ah. So, the two, so I, I told my boss I need to go do a master's degree and it's being offered during the day mm. so i can't balance the two mm. so i need to mm. leave work so that i can focus on and this class yeah on on doing my master's degree mm. but at the back of my mind i was like in these two years it mm. takes two years mm. i will also be trying out mm. whether i can run a business oh. ah. yeah so i i mean i spoke to two of my my friends who are already out here i was like can i join you guys they were like yeah you can join us so we start or rather, we continue what they were doing. So mm. I would get my job, like I would get clients, mm. and then we do we do the work together, mm. and we find a way of uh, splitting the money. They would get clients, they bring the work, we mm. do it together. Mm. We find so that that 
time I'm now learning how to run a business, how to then get interns, how to go and look for office space, because mm. we look for office, office space wow. together. Mm. Uh, <coughs> how to invoice, how to, um, you know, ha read books from a book of books of accounts. Mm. So it's also another form of uh, training, I would mm. say. Yeah. We, we, it was a company, actually. Mm. So I became a partner on that. Mm. But after two years, one of our friends was going out of the country. So, and then uh, the other friend was also, had gotten a teaching job. Mm. So we didn't to focus on that. Mm. So we had to wind up. Oh. <laughs> so I was left. I was like, I, I was asked, <laughs> this guy is going matai. abroad. It's like, <laughs> me and abroad? Who <laughs> 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 I was like, I'll be doing the same thing. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just be doing the same thing. So I went uh, and now, um, at that point, I'm at the tail end of my master's uh, degree. Uh. So after one week, I registered uh, a company called A Plus Interiors. Ah, and that's where I work a -plus. Up, up to today. Oh. So the story of how it started is very, is very You are left on the lights. Uh, yeah, I'm in the name to the Funga Office Westland. Uh, I've carried the computer to my house in uh, South B. Uh, so I'm commuting from South B. The only other place I have to work from mm. is the, my classroom mm. in, uh, in the University of Nairobi. Yes. So that's where I start my business, Whoa. in a campus classroom. Wow. With one laptop. And I got an intern, a second year student. Mm. Boom, first client. Biashara mm. Wow. So, you want to a manga smooth sailing? <laughs> no, I mean, you're in, you're, yeah. imagine you're in campus. Yes, yes. You're, yes. you're like, you're, how do I put it? Um, you're supposed to be doing schoolwork. Yeah, but <laughs> like you are working. Like, you know, Baka, the teachers told me, but Charles, we know. Then I finished my paper. Mm. Hey, the teacher was like, I, why are you still coming to campus? Mm. You finish your paper. You mm. must be doing your shot. What is happening? Mm. So when I was discovered, then I had to move uh, the oh. business to, to my, to to my, my, my bed sitter. Mm. Yeah, man, say, with my guy over there, we we're doing drawings overnight. Mm. I drop him in his... No, at that point, I don't even have a car. So I, I, I get him fair or something to be dropped at home. So we moved from my house to South Bee Shopping Center. Mm. So then now we, we are able now to have more wow. people, like uh, five people or something. So we can say at that time when mm. you discovered, okay, guys have left, I have to start something, you yes. just decided to go for it, not think about a job. Yeah, you know, what happened? <laughs> thoughts of getting a job came. Eh? Mm. At that point, I have a girlfriend, my mm. now wife, eh? mm. beautiful wife, mm. uh, Kate. Mm. Yeah. Uh, she applies, she gets my papers and applies for a job. For you? Yeah, for me. Uh, and nothing comes. <laughs> nothing comes. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like, God is telling me to continue uh, doing this, this thing. Do his, he, he, this one is working. Uh, he, you know? we, we normally <laughs> say, uh, you, 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 uh, you don't keep knocking on, you go through the open doors. Yeah, Stop yeah, yeah. knocking the closed ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm mm. like, is my paper who may apply? Mm. Nah, si mm. she, 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 was, she was really like, and uh, like pitying me, mm. this guy doesn't have a job, he's mm. going to finish college, he has good papers, mm. and you know, mm. me, t I told her, man, this, this, this kind of thing eh, that mm. looks shaky, shaky, mm. me, I know it's a big it's going thing. To work, eh? It's going yeah, to me, work, it's a big you thing. You know, it's a big thing. You know, it's like those guys, eh, you know, wife and I'm going to say, okay, you know, wife and I'm going to say, okay, <laughs> so I had faith, like ukona faith, uh, but uh, 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 that's, that's, that's the thing. All right. Mm. Tell me, yeah. mm. uh, so you started at South B, and yes. know, we are talking about a process. I want to process, look at yes. the process, the process, mm. of, you know, you're starting in campus, the mm. business has come, you found a first client, and yeah. you're working from campus yeah. to your house. Yes. Now you're at the shopping center, you I'm get a room. Center. Now tell me, mm. um, what do you would you call? Mm. Um, because because you see that pr that element of growth, mm. uh, what did you appreciate at that time? Mm. I th I think it's just pressure. You appreciated pressure. It's just pressure, man, because mm. it has to work. It has to work. Yeah, hey, it has to be fine. In one way, no, 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 no
Uh, Remember, I have... Um, yes, you have uh, rent. I have rent. And you have someone to please. Uh, definitely now my wife is here <laughs> and we are talking about, uh, yeah. you know, we need yeah. to start thinking of a wedding or something like that. Yeah. So, I mean, there's pressure, bro. Yes. And then I have yeah. this... No, I've taken interns. Yes. Guys yeah. I've left college with. Wow. Them. So, so me, I'm a master student, so yeah. these guys are uku second year, third yeah, year, but yeah. very good students. Yes. I had seen their work. Mm. So I've taken like three interns, man. Wow. So I have to make sure that I'm they paying are busy. these guys. Yeah. Eh? Or, or also, even if not paying them enough, mm. I'm uh, putting value in them. So even the mm. jobs we are doing, mm. they are helping them uh, in, in, um, in, like, so they you're, become you're better. You're saying mm. at that point you could be able to afford interns? Yeah, you, you, these clients are saying... That's why you have smooth sailing. You don't have to pay for your laptop. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I appreciate it. I thank God. I thank God. If, if, eh? if that's how I look. But, but yeah, for me, it felt... It, and it was mm. pressure. Because I'm paid by this client. Mm. The only thing I used to spend on myself, mm. I don't think I ever used to spend anything. I would just pay rent. Mm. That's it. Mm. Yeah, pay rent do shopping kidogo mm. that's it mm. that's it man the other thing i'm just plowing back i'm mm. buying another laptop mm. for a new intern mm. or i mean there's just something there's mm. how office rent now yeah there's house rent yes so there's there was just i mean there was just yeah, they uh, say the business the the, the founder mm. yeah. The founder has uh, has a disease called yes. foundiosis. So foundiosis. <laughs> <laughs> so foundiosis means you uh, plow back. You plow back. You man. keep you keep doing the same thing. You know you're just paying rent so that mm -hmm. you are not chucked out. Yeah, and buying the things you need like a mop. You mm. know, like you move to an office. Mm. Ata kuna mop. Mm. <laughs> you are the one mopping. You're the one mopping. <laughs> so you yeah. need a mop. Yeah. You need to hire a cleaner. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you just the yeah. kind of things. <clears throat> Charles, mm. what would you call mm. your first break? You know, what you can say. Of course, mm. now those ones are just paying rent. Yes. What would you call now? This is what you know. Kuna, mm. kuna kazi na kazi. Yes. Yeah? Yes. The first job that you did, the job that you did and you phew, break out. We break call out. it break out. You know, that day you went and bought mm. choma. You know, choma. Yes. Now, unasema kila mtu wana kuwapa pewe choma pia, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I think there are many. Mm. In those first days, mm. my break came when I got a job for um, corporate. Ah. Octagon Pensions. Wow. Yani ni mewa mention hapa. Yeah. Yani, they, they wanilipe, trusted us <laughs> <laughs> with their office yeah. to design and yeah. build their office wow. at uh, West, West Park. Mm. West Park um, building mm. in Westlands. Mm. Yani, after we didn't have, we had to go and get a KRA, whatever. What is it called, this thing? Mm. Yeah, yeah, so that then you can be able to write uh, yes, an yes. invoice with an ETR. Mm, mm. Those are the guys who, who, <laughs> mm. who made us go, go and get our papers right. Yes, yes. Yeah? Oh, you need to. You need yeah. to. If you're going to do business here, yeah. Kiwango here, yes. I think you have to get your papers yeah, we right. were like, hey man, then now we need a, no, we had a bank account, but now mm. we need a company bank account. Mm. We need a, all these things because there's a, there's a serious business in the offing and man, mm. grateful to these guys. Mm. That, I mean, from there, things looked up. Wow. Yeah. So those yeah. were your first break. That was my first break. Uh -huh. Before two, is it 2017 elections. Oh. <laughs> 2017 elections, we had a... Mm. A, a, a deep. A, a, a deep. Mm. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, we had... But you're not vying. Why, why uh, do you get a deep? No, I think <laughs> well, the business <laughs> environment joking, yeah. <laughs> affected our... Yeah, you know, of yeah. course, those elections were quite political, something. Political environment. Oh, it was yeah. bad. I think political environment actually affects business in very, very yeah. negative ways sometimes. And especially yeah, sometimes. Here. Yeah. But it, it depends on what business yeah. you're in. Mm. Uh, were, yeah. were we in printing? <laughs> It would have been a boom. <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah, just have uh, to be smart. Mm. You, you you have to sell what is selling at a particular time. Am I? Can mm. I? Can I be? Can, yeah. it, could it be true now to say mm. uh, one of the ways we are learning about process and, and lessons we learned? Mm -hmm. We learned that the first thing you need to understand is that college is not out here. Yep. Out here is a new world. Yes. And then number two, we said you needed to go into the school out yes. here. Yes. Which is very important. Yes. Number three, we mentioned, you, me you mentioned mentors. Yes. Someone who can take your hand and show you things and tell yes. you things. And yeah. we said humility. Yeah. Humility is key. Yeah. Now, in this one, um, mm. um, c could I say now, getting your papers right. Yeah, you need to get your... your because, you <coughs> see, there's one thing to say there's no business. Yeah. It's one thing to say there's no business. Yeah. But then, mm. are you ready for the business? That's the thing, being ready. 
being oh, ready for the opportunity. Yeah, because you see, yeah. if you imagine if you didn't have ETR. Yes. And uh, they're telling you, boss, invoice. We want an invoice. Yeah. What will you do? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that would be the uh, end of the biashara. Uh, be like, but are you guys? Mm. We are working with the wrong person. Mm. Yeah, but I think I thank God I had uh, good people around me, accountants. Mm. So I had, I called an accountant, mm. and an ETR was brought. So also having the right people around you mm. is is uh, you need to walk this this journey with. We need to uh, work with, with people. people. Mm. Yeah. So I think uh, mm. I, I, that's a beautiful thing to say. Yeah. You can't work alone. Yeah. And, and, and can you can you see I have interns? I couldn't yeah. do this work alone. Yes, yes, yes. And and, and I'm, I've now started now returning Kurudisham Kono. I've started mm. now doing what my boss did. Yes. So I'm getting a uh, few guys. It was two 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 two, two gentlemen and a lady. Mm. So I'm I've gotten this and I'm now. Uh, giving Give. back mm. what my former mm. boss gave me, ah. so I'm I'm I'm, now, I'm mentoring them. So mm. mentorship also mm. comes back. Mm. But uh, as we have said, the right people. Wow. Yeah. So you cannot walk alone in this journey. Yeah? You can't. <coughs> you can't. What would you call mm. Mm, at that point now? What mm. would you tell somebody? These are the do's. These are the don'ts. At, at the beginning of uh, uh, a small yeah. business. Yes. Let's say <laughs> the do's are. Let's start with the don'ts. Mm. The don'ts, one of them is do not think mm. that the money, the business money mm. is your personal money. Well, well. Yes. The There's business a difference. money is not your personal money. Yeah. If, if you can, at that point, mm. be the smallest consumer, mm. and be the smallest, let the business be big. You know, Bana, yeah. like you're saying, eh? Yes. The office... Yes. Is your place where you sleep. Yeah, yeah, it's my it's house. It's the same place where <laughs> you're supposed to. Yeah. So how do you forget yourself? No, you see, uh, as a person, mm. I have very s small needs. I just mm. need to eat, mm. I need to take a shower, mm. and I need to wear clothes. That's it. What else do I need? And fair to go to church, because mm. I never used to leave the office anyway, mm. going where. Mm. Maybe I'm, if, I'm, if I'm going to meet a client, that's mm. a business expense. Yes. If I'm having lunch while meeting a client, it's also a business expense. Ah. So, the, so we categorize that as mm. business expenses. So you spend more time mm. doing your business mm. than spending more time doing personal things. The only personal thing I had was go to church and mm. then in the afternoon go see my girlfriend. Mm. So you only fair place and mm. It's just very little in my, my own food. So, <laughs> so the business was, you, like the money <laughs> you're just plowing back. Mm. The business is living in my house. So when, mm. it's, when I'm paying rent, it's paying rent. Mm. Until then it moved outside. Mm. Then the business had to pay rent. Mm. Then I had to now start paying myself a small thing so that I can afford my own rent. So the don'ts is number one, company money? It's, it's not your money. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, are, are those being... Uh, uh, beginning at the beginning it's very mm. hard to pay yourself a salary yes but if you can mm. once you're able to write for yourself a salary ah. yeah and let this salary mm. not be bigger than the monies you're getting let it be very little maybe less than 10 percent if you can Less than 10 percent, or just 10 percent. Also, to to come a god, just pay yourself 10 percent. Just pay yourself like 10 percent. The rest plow back mm. because the business needs things. It's a child, so it needs computers. It needs an office. It needs it needs so many things. Mm. Someone should not be stuck somewhere mm. because the business does not have money for cab or or transport or. Mm. Like they can't get to site or they can't get to do something. Mm. Or now the business cannot, if you're in um, commodities, you cannot mm. afford to restock mm. at because you ate the money. I mean, is it to a partner? We should not, we should get these things right. Now, so these guys who are texting, asking you for, oh, you know, uh, mm. don't tell them you have money. <laughs> if you have personal money, uh, fine, deal send them. Uh. Kama uliko umejilipa, mm. ata ni kama ni 10K, mm. na umelipa ume rent yako ya 5K, na wakona 5K juu, mm. na msia mkuyutisha, mutumie kitu. Mm. But kama imeisha, mm. usiangalie ati biashara yiko na 30K, umutumie mm. kwa hizi za biashara. No. Mm. Hizi za biashara wachana. Hizi za biashara, wacha zikea hapa. Mm. Because if you, if, you, if you spend them, mm. and a dry month is coming. Inakuja hapo mbele. What will you do? <laughs>
<laughs> big lesson. That's a very, very big lesson. Yes. That's a very big lesson. A, a dry month is coming. So, so the, the first mm. don't is mm. money, bagua ni yawapi. Yeah, yeah. So like split them. What else should you tell somebody don'ts? Don'ts is um, don't have, I would say, tell yourself the truth. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Be true to yourself. Mm. This is the level I'm in. Mm. Yes. Let's not have a very big image of ourselves. Ah. Ilea, you know, you will go and spend because you want to be in a certain class. Mm. No. Do people still do that? Yeah. People still do that. Mm. Yeah. So just keep to your, <coughs> keep to your level. Mm. If I can afford a shoe for 200, mm. fine. Mm. And I like the one for 2,000. Mm. What are you going to do? Because honestly, my, I'm in this level. Yeah. Tutatembea usorted. Uh, tutatembea. Haina shida. Yeah. E, iko tu sawa. <laughs> Nitafika kwa? Eh, yeah, pale unaenda. Yeah, same thing mm. to if, if your friends at that time are buying cars, mm. uh, new cars. Also, I mean, don't go and take the business money and buy. Mm. Buy, you know, you understand? Mm. So just GP me to, mm. like, have a very um, truthful uh, assessment mm. of yourself mm. at that point. Mm. Then you can... Be sober. I Whoa. think that's the word. Yeah. Wow. Be sober. Now, wow. Mm. Mm. So, be sober, check your lens, keep to your lens. Yes. <laughs> keep to your lens. Because, you see, yeah. let yeah. me tell you something. Mm. We have very many people who begin businesses just the way you did. Eh? Mm. And then, uh, and especially young people, and because, you know, most of these businesses are creative based, you know, creativity yes. Yes. and, you know, design. Like, I know a lot of designers yes. who do very big jobs. Eh? Yes. But yet, I think that aspect of, you know, separating this from that, mm. this money is for here, that money is for that. Mm. I think that that is a very key lesson yeah. that uh, today we've learned. Eh? Yeah. and uh, keeping to your lane mm. which other lesson would you s release I think, uh, they are all related self discipline mm. oh yeah it co related to what i've just said i you? tell you discipline ni kitu ingine bana yeah self discipline like mm. you just oh yeah i should say mm. hire an accountant oh yeah. please hire an accountant mm. from day one atakama mm. this person is volunteering mm. get an accountant from day one this accountant mm. the accountants don't mean words Numbers wow. don't lie. Wow. Numbers don't lie. Yeah. This guy will tell you at the end of the month, yeah. you are on the red. Yeah. So don't think you have money. Yeah. The accountants are going to tell you the truth. Yes. Just hire an accountant. Mm. Atakama ana balance. Mm. Pesa kido. Atakama ana balance negatives. Mm. Akwambie, in, on, this month you received this much, mm. you spend this much. Mm. You need to reduce your expense. Someone who can tell you, you can have the hard... Accountants don't mis miss words. Mm. They, are, they, are, they don't sugarcoat anything. Mm. They just print for you mm. something. And you can see negatives. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get. Yeah, yeah accountants so are not your... Eh? Yeah, and then their self-discipline is now to say, and here to put the negatives, mm. I need to do something. I need to reduce. I need to reduce some expenses. Mm. Yeah. And I think also, yeah, I mean, live your life simply. I mean, uh, what's the point? Uh, I mean, life is just simple, really. Yeah, uh, why we should need you to complicate it? Yeah. <laughs> like, like I told you, once I've eaten, I've mm. slept, I've showered. Mm. That's it. What yeah. else do I need? Nothing. You need very little money. Yeah. Right? Actually, it's true. Because <laughs> when you look at the way we, yeah. I, I think it's us who will like excesses. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My excess banner. Yeah, sasa hizo ndiyo unakata. <laughs> uh, in, in the beginning, and even generally, even yeah. as you, pro, if for a business to grow, mm. yeah, those excesses have to, to be, you have to remove them. Because, I mean, you don't need a lot of money. You That's need to invest more. Invest so more. Pl plow get back, plow get back. an accountant. Yeah. Uh, we have very few minutes remaining. Okay. Any other, you've, you've only measured on the don'ts. Yes. The do's is one. The do's, eh? Yeah, you've just said, do you hire an accountant? Hire an accountant? Mm. Uh, hire the surround yourself with the right people so hire good people mm. hire, good, hire people. good talent okay if you can hire mm. people who are better than you mm. yeah because mm. mm. the people who work for me what if I you can't pay them uh, i told you people start as as interns mm. if if your business is if if you can't pay them mm. uh, sorry let, let's start with they start as interns mm. they only stay if what they are doing mm. is bringing money. Mm. You understand? Okay. So okay. it means you can, if, if what they are doing is bringing you money, mm. 
I mean, you need to pay them first. Yes, you do. You, do, you have to. Yes. We need to, <laughs> so we so need to pay them. So you need to be able to them. avoid them. Yes, we need si to pay them. See, you are going to pay them. But you are going to pay them. You are going to pay them. You are going to pay them. You are going Basi si umconverta kuwe permanent employee. Mm. E, Unataka kukule yo pesa kwa nini. <laughs> Na yendi ya mefanyia. Una get. <laughs> uh, you are a good man. You are, you are a good man. <laughs> <laughs> you are a good man. So alipwe kwanza. You are a good guy. Huyu jamaa alipwe kwanza. Alipwe kwanza. Asi complain. So niambiwa wale niambiwa wale wale watu wako kwa ofisi yako eh, eh. mulipwe. Yeah definitely. Eh. Leo ni tarehe ngapi? Weekend eh. wanapata pesa. Leo ni tarehe 28 wana. Weekend wanapata pesa hao. Wako. Eh. Yaani hata ni it's a click of a button. Eh. They receive their money. You are a good man. <laughs> Tell me. <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have what you can call your lowest moment in If, that? Um I think lowest moment i would say uh, on a personal level mm. is receiving a heartbreak mm. from a girl i loved mm. back in college mm. everybody has that i, I guess yani na kupiga mimi naongea jia bees bana so that's that's what I, like this in terms of business yeah. i would say lowest moment is um, like i said 2017 mm. we did our last job in july oh we received our last payment mm. but it's like things went quiet mm. and whoa, whoa, whoa at that point i made a mistake mm. i picked because we had some money i picked mm. another job <coughs> someone who gave me an lpo mm. you know people now start they, yeah. they, they, they don't start now paying in cash mm. so i picked a job mm. it was two million Kenya shillings. So I had to finance a job uh, from my savings. And then the client started delaying payment. Mm. Oh, I'm telling you that thing. Mm -hmm. That thing was, uh, I th we, we had a low moment, mm. 2017. So actually it took almost a year for us to start. Because again, 2018, mm. there was not so much business. Uh -huh. We were just surviving on scraps. Mm -hmm. But at least, I thank God that whenever I went and prayed God and told him I needed to pay rent, he somehow came through. Mm. I'm going to be, hey, mother God, man. Mm. Niko hapa chini. Mm. Niko hapa chini. Nime pack for yeah. the bus business. <laughs> <laughs> yani inapanda huko. Uh, hey, na sina rent. Kuna za padlock. Hey. Uko, eh? <laughs> <laughs> But God alikuwa tuwa na come through. Anaiza kosa ku come through the date ya nye. With the date that you need your rent, but mm. maybe 10 days later, mm. something somewhere happens, mm. and you receive a, you receive a check. Yeah. Yeah. But the same principles, mm. I receive the check, mm. I sort the, the things that need to be sorted. Mm. I sort myself last. Mm. I mean, the, so a bit of sacrifice here. Wow. And there. Hey. Until the client you know, took almost a year to, mm. to, to pay us back. Mm. We had even borrowed some money. We returned the money. It, it was just <laughs> a mishmash. Yeah, but yeah. I, I think to say is... Mm. You know, um, uh, I want to leave the viewers with, uh, I would say that there's this uh, verse in the Bible mm. that I write in. It's, it says, show me a man mm. who is good at what they do, mm. and I will show you someone mm. who will stand before kings. Wow. Yeah. I've forgotten where it is in the Bible, but there's that scripture. I, I know you man. know it. Uh, show me, show a, me man a man who is good, who is good at what Yeah, versions they say yeah. there are versions that say who is good at his skill. Yeah, mm. and I will show you someone mm. who will stand before kings. Mm. So you just have to be very good mm. at what if you choose a vocation. Mm. I mean, sweep the city. This is what you're going to do. Yes, you're going to look at that camera. Yes, and I want you to speak to somebody now and tell them. Yes. Number one, you know, in a few minutes, because we are closing down. Yes. You know, like what you've just said. Yes. You know, just be good at what you do. Yes. And then just speak to them in a second, and then yes. we'll be done. Yeah. I would, I would like to, my word today is to say that if you choose a vocation, mm. do it so well. Like, do it like, do, give it your best. Mm. Uh, the Bible says, We are not working for people. Mm. Do it as if you're working for God. Wow. And God expects, God has very, very high standards. Mm. So there's no way you can afford to be given a talent and a mm. skill mm. or a vocation mm. or an opportunity to do something mm. and then you do it half-heartedly. That is not, that is not uh, the standard of God. Mm. God has extremely, extremely high standards. So 
if you given even if you if it's sweeping man they mm. sweep the city so clean mm. that when you leave it people will say here lived uh, someone who was yeah, yeah here lived a, a great sweeper if if you're a musician man they sing your heart out mm. don't leave anything <laughs> don't leave yeah, any verse <laughs> don't leave anything yani leave everything ah, there I like this so like so this. like what I we like do this. manze we just leave everything there. i will tell you for a fact mm. last night the, the night before mm. i had to trans night because i had big meeting coming up mm. and i just put myself up to today man mm. put myself on a chair and trans nighted and in the morning mm. i went and killed that presentation wow that is just the spirit mm. you you cannot i mean you cannot survive through you can't say oh it's my talent ah, mm. i do it easily mm. nah mm. it's mm. just sheer hard work wonderful i think it's well said yeah. um just want to let uh, anyone who wants to get in touch with you can they yeah yeah and you're they, willing to definitely hold their hand i'm willing to hold your hand if mm. you're in the creative uh, side of i may not creative and a bit of business yeah the, but the uh, you must be humble yeah ukijichocha ukuje na humility pande ukuje na o lazima umejichocha like sasa tuki tuki deal sasa we to humble chalo we have to close this thanks it's thanks, time thanks, to brother. close this i think yeah. you've, we, we've uh, I'm, I'm, i've had fun just yeah, speaking here. to you and being able yeah. to hear from you yeah and viewers i mean that's charles for you he's mm. a he's a man i've really appreciated his growth yeah. and he's done a very very good job and uh, his works speak for him Yeah. and i like i mean he did not mince his words be good at what you do yeah. and do it the best you can and that's what he has done mm. even to grow the small business right from his house mm. now today they have nice offices i've been there i've seen mm. the place it's a yeah. beautiful place it's good stuff mm. and he's promised to pay all of them and then he has promised to take a cow to Mr. Jackson Mr. Dego. Jackson Dego. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm talking mentor. for him yes yeah. Yeah. so that's all we had for today yeah. you keep it elevate have a wonderful day god bless you thank you very much